think I'm here. I think I'm here. I think I'm here early. Let me know if you guys can see me because I've been running into some problems uh, on the YouTubes. So I'm usually here. Right, I, I try to try to get here. Actually, it works out. I'm usually like a minute late. So oh, let's see here. If I'm working on the YouTubes, if not, I'm gonna have to start another stream. I don't know why it's why it does that. So. Uh, what's up, Caleb? I'm guessing you guys can see me. Uh, I, I'm good. All right, we got a yes sir in here, so I guess we're good. Yeah, man, this is the the, the Justin Royal uh, fishing shirt. So if you don't follow Justin Royal fishing, uh, he's an upcoming. I don't even say YouTuber. He's a, he's a good fisherman. He's got a YouTube channel. And uh, he will say, hey, man, I'm not the best fisherman, all that. He's great, but he's learning. And, dude, his video is great. His editing is good. And I've been following for a long time. And uh, Royal has definitely been in a lot of these chats. And I'm going to get him in here for a uh, split screen. So, you know, I, I've been very blessed uh, with getting baits from people and donations and all that. So when I see someone like Justin that's obviously – got the hustle and the drive I wanted to uh, give back so I bought two shirts he didn't give them to me uh, I got this one which looks really really good man his t-shirt guy did a great job and he's got another one the heaters only shirt but you know me I, I like my purple so I had to rock this one tonight and you know I tried to do something different here in the bait room uh, a little different setup it kind of angled it and I think I got the lighting a whole lot better so um, and I am COVID free um, I'm going to get released to go back to work, uh, Sunday night. So I'll have to stream a little bit during the day or back to back on Friday and Saturday nights, but I got a wedding next Saturday night. I have to go to, um, but whose beard is better? I mean, my beard's pretty tight. I just ain't got that, you know, Sean from, uh, street outlaws goatee thing going on. So, but, uh, anyways, I got a bunch of cool stuff tonight. Um, I know what's in one box, but I don't know what's in the other. Uh, got some OG baits that you can't buy anymore. Uh, and then I don't know what's in the other box. It's it's going to be crazy. And, and we're just going to talk some baits. I'm actually going to pull up... The redneck in me is going to pull up a dirt race because uh, it's the last one of the season for the old world of outlaws. Uh, to be honest with you, these guys right here, man, these things get my blood pumping. I love these dirt sprint cars. I have since I was a little, little bitty kid, so they're very fast. So I got that going on my phone. So if you see me glancing over there, um, but uh, yeah, back to the drawing board. Uh, so we're going to talk baits, man, um, and everything. I'll answer some stuff, so I'm going to go back and make sure I answer some questions. Gary, I am feeling really good. Uh, now I drink like five Mountain Dews in the last two hours. Just, just little cans, you know. Oh, speaking of, I left my Mountain Dew um, in the house, but we'll be okay. Um, and, and matter of fact, Gary, I got your box in here. Uh, I, I didn't really open it. Um, so we're going to have a first time tonight. I'll have to find some scissors to open that thing up. So I appreciate um, that care package. Um, and then I got another one from a guy. And there's a little bit of a story behind it, too. So let me. Uh... Let me uh, find some scissors real quick. But guys, uh, if you like, do you like this angle better than just straight up and down? I, I feel like I like this angle better. I think the lighting uh, in here is better. Uh, maybe I'll redo the baits right here. This is actually my. Uh, breaker panel uh, for the house. Maybe I'll redo the baits in this area. Give me some suggestions. What would you like to see me? See me hang my big swim baits over here and stuff like that. And I've got all my OG lures here, but if I'm going to be here, I need some different shelving. So uh, still haven't got around to getting this thing organized. So. Now I have to ask this question. Oh, Junior can get, Junior can get right here. Junior can get right here. Or he can get over here. Um, 
Why force me to watch Santa Claus 2? Thank God for the stream. I, hey, man, I appreciate you being in here, man. Uh, I told my wife, get in the kitchen, make me some chili while I stream. A whole lot nicer than that, I will say. Oh, God, bugs getting everywhere. So, um, My other question, because we go through this every week, do I sound okay? I did some adjustments, you know, on the microphone. Do I sound okay? Dude, I love the Pulsator. It's, it's freaking nasty, man. I think tomorrow night we're going to talk spinnerbaits here on the channel. So, all right, good. So, show us how to rig the Guggen Baits Texas rig. Oh, yeah, by the way, guys. Sounds good. Show the peanut. Sound okay. Uh, guys, if you're not, uh, I'm a little quiet. Uh, let's see if I can crank this mic up just a little bit more. See if that'll let me. Um, okay. If not, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Guys, last thing. If you're not following me on TikTok, you need to follow me on TikTok. Because I actually made a really good TikTok. And it's kind of it's it's kind of blown up. In, in 24 hours, I've got 5,000 views. Which I don't think that's a lot to TikTok. But I'm going to let you guys uh, watch it. If you want me to swap over... I can swap. I can swap to the webcam audio if you guys want that. All right, here we go. I'm going to let you guys watch this TikTok. I'm actually going to swap so the webcam can hear it. Uh, just a second. Oh, yeah, west of Mayfield? I hear you. I know exactly where you're at then. All right. Let's see if I can get this audio working. All right, can you all hear me better now? Can you hear me better a little bit? We good? All right, check out this TikTok. you got to be following me, Baxter the Bait Man. Well, I better turn my phone on. I get questions all the time. This is a true pro tip. What's up, TikTok? It is Bait Man here. And as you can imagine, I get questions all the time. The question I got the other day was, how do I rig... The Guggen Baits Bandito Bug. I'm about to show you. You'll need a 4 aught straight shank flipping hook such as these. A tungsten weight and bobber stops to keep your bait from sliding. Next, take your Guggen Baits and throw them in the trash. Where they belong. And go get some real baits like a grown ass man. What's up, so hopefully you guys like that. Uh, you you guys want me to keep this other mic because I can do it. Uh, I need to turn it down just a little bit. It's a little bit hot. A little bit hot. Testing, testing. That sounds like it'd be a pretty good area if I, if everything is going right. So uh, the Yeti mic has a better sound. It's a little bit more crisp. It's actually probably better for recording videos. But on stream, it seems like the webcam mic. It's fine. So if the mic is good, I'm good. If I still look like a sexy beast, you know, I can't change that. We're going to roll. So, yeah, follow me on TikTok. It is uh, just like YouTube. Actually, I'm fixing to change my channel name to Baxter the Bait Man. Uh, so that's what I am on TikTok, uh, Baxter the Bait Man. Yes, I have got a lot of heat from 12 and 14-year-olds on TikTok. Uh, I had to put a disclaimer on there. If your PB is only three pounds, you can't comment on this video. And after that, I really haven't got a lot of trash talk. So, anyway, all right. Uh, a couple weeks ago, somebody asked me, "Hey, bait man, uh, do you got a Depths 250?" And I said, "No, I did have one, but I got one in." So if you saw the little thumbnail before this, which I'm going to change the thumbnail afterwards, I got me a Depths 250. Um, also, guys, make sure you like and share the video. We've got 115 people in here. Let's get some more people in. We got, we're going to talk some baits for a while. But anyway. I, hey, trust me. I got plenty of ideas for more jabs at Guggen. So. You know, uh, Baitman TV, I, that was the only thing I could think of uh, at the time. And that's why I got to change it. I don't want people to think I'm trying to be... Uh, I'm trying to be uh, White Trash Dan Blazarian uh, slash Lunkers TV. 
I'm just a dude that likes bait suits. It's going to change the backs for the bait man. So, anyway, this is a Butch Brown Depths 250. Uh, this thing looks so good. It, it's so big, I really don't have to bring it right into the screen, you know. Um, and I want to compare real quick. Uh, let me grab, move my rats. I'm not going to twerk while I'm doing this. That's only for TikTok. Move my rats here. So this is the step down. This is this is actually an OG uh, Depths 175. And the reason it's OG, if you look inside the joints here, this is actually foam filled. Okay. Now the 175 has got a good swim. It tends to nose up just a little bit. So to counter that, weight your front end. Uh, you can put some spin strips under the nose. All that stuff. They actually make weights for these 175s. I like the 175. Uh, this is Flash Carp. This is a hard one to get. But you compare it to the Depths 250, there's a huge, huge difference in those two baits. Now, number one, you have to have a grown-ass rod to throw this. Uh, you need something like a Dobbins 807, uh, maybe even the 867, uh, a custom-built rod. The 175... You can kind of you can get away with throwing this on a 795 Dobbins or an 806 pretty easily, uh, or even what you throw a 10XD on, because uh, it is treble hooks. But the the 175 depths it just weighs so much, you're gonna have to step up. But that gizzard shad pattern is really good. And I'll be honest with you, for Kentucky Lake Lake Barkley, this reminds me of a silver carp. And I know those smallmouth and the largemouth have been eating on the silver carp. So if it was me, a true gizzard, you would have a little bit, a highlight of some pink and purple up top. And maybe a little bit more gray on the side. But man, uh, that's the thing about gizzard shad. One part of the country, they will look solid silver. Places where I live, gizzards got a lot of pink, a lot of red, uh, some blue to them. But... You can see inside this joint here. This one, though, it's plastic. It's not the foam filled. But um, I know we'll say people say, man, my tail gets water in it. That's going to happen. No big deal. But I'm going to throw 20, 25 pound fluorocarbon on this. Or I'm going to run something like uh, P line monofilament CXX or big um, mono. So you can go fluorocarbon or you can go mono personally. Um, a copolymer like P line is probably your best bet, but that depth's 250, man. I'm, I'm excited. I'm gonna have to order a new rod and reel specifically for throwing these big giant glides. So, uh, how many ounces is the 250? Well, um, I can't read Japanese. Uh, oh, it says right here. Only thing it says English. Slow sink, 6.2 ounces. Yeah. Well, this thing is bigger than an S Waver 200. I can tell you that, and heavier. So, there's a rattle trap design contest. I didn't know about it. Did not know about it. I've actually designed two rattle trap colors back when I was in retail. Um, what's the color name you suggest for Barkley Depths 250? This color is called Butch Brown Gizzard. Now, I'm going to let you guys know real quick, if you're interested in this, and they also have this Butch Brown Gizzard in a Depths 145. So if you don't want to throw those giant baits, the 145 is about an inch smaller than this 175. Uh, look up my boy uh, McKee Outdoors on Facebook. That's who I got this from, Matt McKee. Great guy. Uh, I met him at the Knoxville East Tennessee Fishing Show. He's a Vol fan. Um... So we weep together on Saturdays. But uh, McKee Outdoors, Knoxville, Tennessee, they will take care of you. He says he's got a bunch of 145s and 250s coming. So this is bigger than a 10-inch HUD. So I'm going to slip this guy into the box. I'm getting this bait room clean sometime. It's, it's a mess. It's just a daggum mess. That's all I can say. I, I want to... Plano makes a really big box that I think would be great for storing these big old swim baits. I'll worry about this later. We got more things to do. So let's let's hang this guy up. We'll put him on the swim bait wall. 
put him on a swim bait wall, put my rats up. All right, we're good to go now. We're good to go. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I think I'm going big swim baits all through here because I get so many questions about them. Uh, probably real I'm going to go with actually is going to be a uh, probably a Tatula 300. If not, I'm probably going to go with a Tranks 4 300. The 400 is just a little big for my hands. Bakeman, say that again. Where did he get that? McKee Outdoors, Knoxville, Tennessee. Just look them up on Facebook or Google and call them. They have great customer service. I'm not a fan of round reels. I know some guys really, really like them. If I can get away with a low profile, uh, like a Tranks, the new Tatula, uh, the Daiwa, I think it's Z20, Z2020, that is really, really good reel. It's like a, a old Daiwa T3 Ballistic, but even bigger, so. Zoom Master Bateman, first time I ever watched you was with Tackle Freaks. Do you have a relationship still with that store? That was a great format in Tackle Store. Absolutely not. Um, and that's all I am going to say about that. Um, I'm going to take the high road and always will. So uh, let's just say there's a reason I still post on social media all the time and reason they don't. So anyway, let's get to opening, 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 opening. Let's get to opening uh, some stuff. So, I'll, I'll, I'll answer this uh, question right here uh, from Brittany Rodriguez. What would you get? Um, uh, two Corrado 70 or SLX 70? Ooh. Honestly, unless you're going to fish any salt water, you might as well just get the SLX 70. Um, really, the big difference between the SLX and the Corrado is the frame's a different color. Um, but internally they're the same. Um, the SLX just, it doesn't have the mag seal bearings for salt water. So if you're going Shimano, so what's up, Rick Bartz? We're about to unbox some OG baits. This come from Gary Ong. He is in Sacramento, California. It's actually, I got two boxes from California. So, uh, let's see. We are going to unbox this from Gary only reason I said his name is because it's here in the chat so but I will not be giving his address out so let's do this let's get this which Jason Christie the good one or the terrible one that's correct Sean uh, that's because I created it like that was my idea and every bit of it but that that you know what i ain't got nothing bad to say they do their thing i do mine and um you know what i always wish them the best so should i watch bait man or fluke tonight well hell i guess if you want to watch someone that catches fish i'd probably watch fluke master if you want to see someone that wishes he was fishing and trying to catch fish we've well, got some cool baits then i guess you watch me or you split screen us both. How about that? All right, let's see what we got here. Oh, we got an envelope. It says Bait Man on it. Whoa. There's cash money in here. That's, we don't need to be sending that. It says Bait Man. Sorry it took long, so long. Too many baits to send for your collection. I appreciate it. I'm always adding to my collection, as Hellabass says. Uh... Your consideration and your uh, curiosity, Gary. P.S. The money is for Bait Girl and Bait Man Jr.'s holophon. Um, Gary, I appreciate that. And I'll make sure that this money gets to Bait Girl and Bait Man Jr. Um, it's kind of funny. You said that I'm fix I was going to buy Bait Man Jr., a, a brand new one of those big giant Coca-Cola. Uh, piggy banks so let's see oh man this dude Gary this guy has he has labeled everything I'm gonna put this down here on my chair we got some soft plastics the OG rebel ringworm I, I love the post-it notes check this out he's post-it note of these for, for me I appreciate that 
The OG Rebel Wing Ringworm, circa late 1970s. That's, ooh. I like this deal. Woo, y'all know I like a ringworm. Oh, man, that'd be great. Shaky head worm right there. Very similar, you know, it's similar to the uh, Six Cents uh, Divine Worm. Let's see if I got one here. Yeah. Kind of similar. This is what I like, though. I like seeing, like, new takes on old stuff. You know what I mean? Um, so there's... This one is the Rebel Ringworm. And then, you know, here's the Divine from Six Cents. You can see inspirations from this OG in here. It's crazy how these old styles kind of come back. Really like that. Now, this has got a little bit of a paddle tail on it. I like that. Not a ribbon tail like the ringworm I usually throw. It's, it's a paddle tail. Man, I, I like that, man. I like that. Pumpkin seed, orange. It's going to work anywhere you want to. Clear water, dirty water. I would like to see a six cents hula grub. That would be kind of cool, actually. You never know what the six is coming out with it. All right, I like that. I think, I think we gotta start fishing with this stuff. I had an idea because I don't get to fish all the time. Is maybe just do a uh, a one rod, one bait challenge. One rod, one reel, one bait. Not trying to rip off one rod, but the one hour challenge, only one bait. Um, and that way I can just go out and fish for an hour if I catch them great if I don't and uh, get some bank fishing tips in so that's that's something I think I'm going to start doing it's going to suck in the winter I can tell you that so I would like to see a 42 inch long rubber worm you can buy those at Walmart they're those rubber snakes for pranks so we'll try hella my, I got a wedding next Saturday uh, evening and my wife informed me so i got to get someone to watch the kids in the morning so we can go fish so next one up this is his favorite this is og his favorite ringworm the action worm and your best method for storing key tech kai tech rage swimmers on a boat personally i like to just keep them in the package if i can and I put them in the Bass Mafia money bags, or you can put them in the Six Cents uh, bags. Either one. Um, the cool thing is with those the big giant money bags, is you can put a lot of Kitex. Now, Mark Zona, in his boat, he takes them all out of the package and he just throws them in one money bag. I've seen a money bag of Zonas literally had like 300 Rage Swimmers, and it's like that uh, KVD Magic color. It was crazy. But. If you don't want to bend up, just put them in a money bag. Keep them in the package. Oh, we got a new sub. Juliano Soros. Hooked and subscribed. Thank you, Juliano. Hopefully I pronounced your, your name right. So, Bong Ripper. Favorite lure to throw. Man, a crankbait. Some sort of crankbait. I love a swim bait, but some sort of crankbait. I can be in my happy place if they're biting it. And I can go a long time without getting a bite on a crankbait. Flat side cranks, absolutely one of my favorite. And then it's swim bait. And man, I'll be honest, I like throwing a worm. Worm is one of my go-tos. So let's check out this next one. Oh, now this is cool. Totally different rib design than the other. This one's very similar to a zipper worm. But if you'll notice, uh, it's got a little bit, little bitty teaser tail on there. Very similar to the zipper worm. A little bit bigger and longer. You know what? This would probably be a really nasty Carolina rig bait right here. Put you a little finesse, uh, straight shank hook on this. Lot eight ounce weight around some boat docks. Woo! Love that. Man, I really do not want any political spam in here, uh, Anthony. Um, I'm cool. Whoever you voted for, whatever. I'm still gonna buy baits. Still gonna go fishing. Really don't care. George PB swim bait fish. I caught one around seven and a half pounds um, on a swim bait. Um, it wasn't a hard swim bait. Uh, I actually caught it on 
uh, one of these Ignite swim baits uh, several years ago. Um, I've caught several fives and a couple in the six pounds, but that one that was seven is kind of crazy. It didn't even just thump, it was like a tick, and I just got a lot of slack and it, it choked it. But I'm looking for that DD on a swim bait. It's probably not going to come from Kentucky, like I don't have to travel some. So, Wim says this is a crocagator worm. Let me see. It's got a name on the tail. Let me see exactly uh, what this is. It just says action. It just says action. OG action worm. I'm going to guess that may be a crocagator worm. They make a great buzz bait. And the zapper jig is awesome too. So, Hello Prince Cobb. Okay, here, I'll answer a few questions. I'm not going to answer any political questions. Uh, it's okay to have that discussion. Uh, I've said what I need to on that. So, If you ever spend the money on Google and you don't have to waste time trashing them. Yeah, correct. Yeah, if you never buy them, you don't have to trash them. Yeah, luckily, uh, where I live, there's some kids that love to fish this pond that I've never caught a fish in. And I swapped out some striking baits for the Guggen just for that video. You know what? They were excited. They're like, man, when did these come out? I'm like, 20 years ago. Um, what's up, Pat Matthews? My favorite jerk bait, uh, Mega Bass Vision 110 uh, or a Six Cents Provoke. If I'm going to spend over $15, I'm buying a Vision 110. If uh, if I want to spend 12 bucks, I buy a Provoke. Both are really, really good. The colder the water, the more I'll actually tend to use uh, that Vision 110. Once that water is over 60 degrees, you know, 60 degrees, I'm going to provoke. It's really good. So, all right. We're going to keep going through this because I got a lot of stuff to go through. Dude, this is, this right here might be, this right here might be an antique. And I know these catch fish. This is one of my dad's favorite lures. Check it out. FLW lizard so these were made special specially for walmart flw tour dude the old flw spinner baits are awesome uh there's guys that pay big money but this is the flw lizard has a little stink on it not a whole lot watermelon chartreuse dude these things catch i know a lot of guys that look for these old flw uh, lizards I want to say Mans uh, made the plastics for them. Matter of fact, this one's got a stamp on the tail. Oh, it says FLW on the tail. I don't think you can see that from here. There's a little logo down here. Um, watermelon chartreuse, catch them anywhere you want to. Clear, a little stain. Yeah, dude, this one's. Thank you, Prince Cop, for subscribing, man. Uh, do you have any idea which hooks Butch Brown puts on the 250? I think they're big owners. I think they're like a ST46 or something like that. They're, they're the, the big saltwater owners. And dude, they're freaking sharp. So. so I would love to collect some more of these FLW baits. Just because FLW is no longer. Now it's Major League Fishing Big Five. Uh, and I watch Bass Talk Live. And you know, I get it. But man, you put a bunch of people in a room. Or... They don't put it on a whiteboard. Boy says, well, we did all everything by email. Okay, so you connected a bunch of people on the internet by email. The best y'all could come up with is the big five. When y'all weigh well, you know, the big fails, they do have big fish. So. I guess they didn't want to go with Major League Fishing. We got a lot of numbers. Got a lot of numbers. Yeah, so... Scott Martin did win six FLWs. The first guy, somebody named the first guy on the FLW, uh, from FLW, the first pro angler on a Wheaties box. Hella bass knows. Have you ever gone salmon fishing? I have not, man, but I've got some buddies that go to Alaska and I... They said, man, we have fun salmon fishing. I said, really, how'd you catch them? Oh, we snag them. Well, I ain't fishing that snagging. So, Would you throw a jerk bait 
or thud tomorrow with cloud cover absolutely man yeah if it's cloudy I want something with a wider chartreuse throws a lot more flash with the cloud cover all right so that was the first part of what Gary sent so I got to find a spot for all this now let's get into the hard baits I'm gonna have to take this one out of the package uh, this is a lucky craft baby shad very underrated bait very underrated bait so this is kind of like close to a shad wrap I have not went trout fishing max why is everybody asking me about trout fishing yes Denny Brower first guy on the Wheaties box uh, then it was Dan Moorhead local Dan Moorhead and then uh, um, Clark Winlet actually I think Clark was number one Denny was two then Dan Moorhead so we had three anglers on a Wheaties box so this color is sweet this color is called Aurora Pro, Pro Blue and I don't even think they make anything in this color anyway anymore. great fall bait right here I know Matt Allen from Tactical Bassin loves the bevy shad in the spring and works it like a small finesse jerk bait um, he, I won't tell you his favorite color but I know he throws it and I've got a box full of these I love the bevy shad and I like this translucent color you can fish it with small short twitches or you can reel it like a shad wrap really really good bait and I love it. it's clear can y'all see the weight transfer Lucky Craft was one of the first companies doing this right here putting that weight transfer them in mega bass but they really brought it to the US market dude got a deal on this thing too I won't tell you what he paid for it but Gary knows how to do some some bargain hunting I can tell you that I'm just grabbing this is a jank juice coach dog oh yeah now we're talking an OG mid-depth crankbait right here baby he has pre-opened the packages so I can slide them back in how awesome is that Robbie Brown best bait for Lake Mead gotta be a rubble worm drop shot man gotta be dude Walters is smashing them so Max, we're going to do a giveaway. You get entered into that giveaway. It's tomorrow night. I'm going to draw live. Go look on the last week's video. Make sure you're subscribed. Comment on the video. All that stuff. There we go. So, Best baits for Lake Mead. I don't fish Lake Mead, but I know guys smash them on top water, drop shots, real small tungsten jigs, and crankbaits. Check this guy. This is a Rebel. I believe it's the Deep We Are. Uh, a I've only seen this color once or twice. Uh, so the Rebel Deep We Are is OG. It's kind of like a Strike King Series 3, Bandit 300. Uh, but a long time ago, Rebel was probably top dog in, in hard baits. Them and Bomber. And then Strike King got started along. And then Bandit came along. And they kind of lost their luster. But a lot of OG old school fishermen, they swear by the Deep We Are. And what's really cool, if you look under this, see under the bill here that will focus under the bill there's a little bitty screw right there okay a lot of people don't know this but these bills are actually inserted and screwed in screwed into the top of that bait so deep we are man amazing amazing bait um you can still get them love that color man that 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 smash them in the spring right there and they do put pretty good hooks on these things they're pretty sharp so. yes they do make a we are square bill I have seen it All right, I'll answer a few questions I'll move on uh, have you ever rigged live bait like you would with a soft plastic I have I have uh, rigged up a night crawler like a soft plastic and uh, it's Carolina believe it or not I was Carolina rigging night crawlers for red ear a long long time ago and uh, it works it works really good Dude, they're smashing it like four. Dude, so many people have thrown the rebel, the old rebel crawfish are awesome, but deep we are, the humpback. Dude, rebel made some great stuff. Best swim bait? Broad question, brother. There's 5,000 ty different types of swim baits. So uh, for me, if I'm start starting on fishing swim baits, I'm going to start in the hollow belly, the paddle tail stuff. So 
yes, the um, there's a We Are. I wish I had the name of the the We Are Square Bill. Dude, OSP Evergreen Flat Sides money there, really good. A double fluke rig real shed. Well, you could. I don't know. I I think maybe we can get Pig Patrol. Maybe we need to get Pig Patrol to do a double shad rig for big flatheads. Uh, so shout out to Josh over there, Pig Patrol. He's hilarious, by the way. Uh, great dude. I watched one of his catfishing videos the other day. All right, all right. Look at here. This is another FLW bait, and it is a crank bait. And uh, he put on the post a note, is this Strike King? <coughs> well, it was assembled in Mexico, and that's where Strike King's plant used to be. And I'm just going to tell you guys, that right there looks like a Series 4 or Series 5. I believe that's a Series 4 Strike King right there. Boy, yellow does not show up really good on this webcam. But it's got a lot of glitter to it. I could probably get down and look if I had a Series 4 handy, but I don't. I'm going to say that was a Strike King bait made for Walmart. It, bills look identical, man. Honestly, that's a fish catching color right there. That's a great wintertime color. I've had really good luck on DD-22s and like a pearl glitter, which is a chartreuse top. Crappie guys love that too. Dude, these are pre-cut out for me. Pre-cut out. I'm telling you, uh, getting baits is cool, but thinking ahead, man, love that. Oh, yeah, here's a good one right here. I get asked about this bait all the time, all the time. Pre-1997, Thin Lip Speed Trap. Yeah, dude, this packaging is old. Runs a foot deep. They break easily. Oh, man. I don't even know if I want to get this thing out. I think I gotta get TK to custom paint paint me some of these if I can find some. So this is a very underrated square bill right here. Very underrated uh, square bill. And that is the Lure Jensen Speed Trap, man. This thing uh, has been around forever. Now the new ones uh, are different. You see this bait? Let's see if I can get this camera to focus here. Focus camera, focus. There's actually a little dent, two dimples. Uh, let's see, come on, focus, focus, homie. Oh, there's actually two dimples right here. Maybe you can see it, but there's two dimples right by the hook hanger. That's how you know you got an OG speed trap. Like the ones I have, don't have them dimples. Even the sound's different. It's got like a, a baby rattle knock to it, but dude. Speed Trap, very underrated. No one really makes anything like it either. Uh, you notice the, the lip angle is very shallow. It's not going to dive real deep at all, but it is made for fishing fast. And man, you can go behind guys that are fishing rattle traps and one knockers and whatnot with a Speed Trap here. Crush them. They make a, a smaller size too, uh, but I just throw the quarter ounce. Love that. I haven't had a pre uh, Rapala one. Rapala bought Lord Jensen out, so you'll see people talk about pre Rapala speed traps, and they're assembled. Uh, forgot where they're assembled now, but the old ones. These old ones were made in Mexico, and you also know on the the old ones. I don't know if I can read that. Probably not, but the old ones on the back of the package just say uh, Lord Jensen in Oregon. The new ones. Have something else. So. All right, I'll answer a few questions before we move on with the baits. We've been on for 40 minutes now, man. 250 guys on here. Appreciate you guys. Make sure you smash the thumbs up button. If you didn't know in the giveaway tomorrow night, uh, there's going to be a grand prize winner, a second place winner, and a third place winner. So I'm giving away three prizes. Uh, second place, you'll get a month of six cents subscription sack, and third place place i'm going to make you a little mystery gift 
and send it on out to you. So everybody says, hey man, dude, give away for more than just first. So I'm doing, we got a big master prize and then second and third place. So that way everybody can kind of feel, get involved. But uh, anyway, let's see, let's answer some questions. All right, I'm thinking the light is way too bright or the camera is overexposed, Bateman. Maybe time to upgrade cameras. I, I've just got a webcam and I've got a ring light and it's it's got a lot of light to it but it's not really good for getting really really close uh unless it's in dark objects that's so that's why you'll see me use my hand you know i could probably use something like this kill the light and i turn it at an angle um but uh, at this light it makes yeah so that's i guess that's what we're doing we're kind of experimenting uh, in a way, and actually, I'm sitting off center from the camera a little bit. So, um, I got some old Storm Deep Thunder sticks, dude. Those are killer guys. Love them for walleye and sauger. So, dude, the blitzes are really, really go good. So, Prince Cobb, I see you, buddy. Hello. Uh, my top spinner. It was on last week's video, man. You gotta go watch last week's video. To show you how to enter the. Uh, thing all you got to do go comment on last week's video on my top spinner you'll be entered into the giveaway you can also enter on facebook and instagram if you have that all those details are in the description all right i gotta catch up let's see here man what's up with all these kids want free baits man they're getting my dms on instagram i do so many giveaways Dude, Timber Tiger Hella Bass is a great crankbait. I've got a few. I got one that's freaking ate up too. Uh yes, Crystal Craw is a great speed trap coat. It's kind of like that OG SH4 that a lot of guys like. So the Rebel Wheat are crankbaits, more of a cold water bait, tight action. Yeah, it's got pretty tight action. It's kind of like a uh, a Bandit 300, um, which would be a newer bait or um strike king 3xd now i think the series three is the best in that style of mid-depth crankbait working class zero citizens get them they're really really good they're a good bait thanks man uh i would love to have perfect lighting and a brand new studio but i'm not going to spend six thousand dollars on a camera just to talk baits uh, but we'll get there, man. We'll get there. Um, just not right now. I really just need to catch a fish. Let's see. Uh, who's the world's most bass lure collector? Probably Epic Eric. But you know what? Eric is like me. He collects a lot of stuff. And I'm not going to lie. I collect a lot of baits. But we collect for fishing with them. Uh, he obviously fishes more than I do right now. But I don't tend to buy stuff that I don't fish with. Now, some of the stuff, like these Pro Autograph Series lures and the FLW stuff, I'm probably not going to fish those. Um, but, I just don't buy, I don't go to flea markets and buy up a ton of stuff that I'm never going to use. If I go to a flea market, I'm buying something because it's hard to get. I'm not going to lie to a lot of you guys. I buy a lot of baits and I turn around and sell them. And I make some extra money. And there's nothing wrong with that. We live in America. You can go buy something at Walmart and you can sell it for double the price if you want to. But I do tend to buy some stuff and resell it. So. Byron, my man. Byron, if I had a good looking office like you, I would Joe Rogan it up. So, Byron from Missile Baits, guys. He's the national sales director. Excellent guy. So if you ever get in the need for some plastics, make sure you buy from Missile Baits so uh, Byron can... Uh, afford to put food on the table he's a great guy man great guy so all right let's keep going through this i do use a lot of wood baits balsa bait so getting a lot of questions tonight man from new people it's all good just make sure you guys smash the like button for me um yeah and don't be afraid to comment after the video if i don't answer your question leave a comment tomorrow morning or after this stream's over and I'll answer. I try to answer every comment I can. So, all right, let's go here. Here is a old Matt's Zuo crankbait. 
Anybody remember Matt Zuo? They made hooks and all kinds of stuff. They made some good looking stuff. And I'm going to be honest with you, I never threw it. They always looked good to me. I wasn't a personal fan. This one, this Fire Tiger one right here is pretty, pretty decent. Old school. Five foot runner. Now I will say Matt Zuo... If you see this bait, it's got a red red hook back there. It was one of the first companies, they were one of the first companies to really start putting the red trebles on the baits. So, Man, there's some, dude, dude loaded down this box. Check this out. There's an old school, this is how River to Sea used to package their crankbaits. This is before the Biggie Square Bill. They packaged a lot of stuff in these little egg light shelves uh, this is called the ranky I've actually seen one of these before uh, it's an ah it's got sharp ass hooks I just jacked myself up hey man people don't smash the like button or subscribe bait man ain't gonna be here much longer I'll be here for a while what I'm saying all these other guys, man, they're making golf course videos. I got to do something. This is a very unique little square build. You know, this is very similar, kind of like that uh, speed trap. If you notice how uh, it is, it the, the lip has got a little more of an angle. So this is kind of like a finesse hybrid square build. Kind of got some JDM look to it. I love that red color, man. They'd eat this thing in the spring. Rip rap killer right here. It's got uh, it's got some little rattles in the back, right on the middle, so you can cast this one pretty good. Ooh. That's probably louder than the speed trap. I've hooked myself way too many times. That's one thing I like about showing plastic baits and swim baits. I tend not to hook myself. You give me some of these little some bitches. With these round bend gamakatsu or owner hooks, I'm getting hooked. Yeah, dude, Ned Bomb is the shizzle. I mean, I know Byron saw my other TikTok video, but y'all had to get on my TikTok to see it. Uh, I say if you are spending too much time rigging Neds, if you know, you'll see. Ned. And uh, I want people to know, I'm just doing the TikTok stuff to be funny. I don't hate the Guggen squad. Uh, believe it or not, and I, I've got a message from one of the Guggens. Uh, his last name rhymes with hair. And said, "Are you? why are you so salty? And I said, why are you swallowing? No, I actually, I didn't say that. I said, "Is it not? am I not allowed to have a sense of humor? And he said, oh, I just thought you might have a problem. I'm like, no, nah, bud. I ain't got no problem. I'm just trying to get TikTok famous. And uh, he's like, I got you. No problem. I respect it. So, you know, I've always said I respect what the Guggen's done as far as getting people into fishing. Uh, they really paved the way for a lot of people. But uh, at the end of the day, you know, some of those guys really aren't doing much fishing stuff anymore. You know, you got, you know, White Trash Dan Blazarian over there uh, smacking face with Cammy. Uh, I got bolted on cakes and all that stuff, so, you know, whatever. But my viewers are different than the Guggen viewers. I would love to have, this is, no, I'm not going to say that because that sound like Joe Biden if I said, I would love to have a lot of 12 to 14 year olds watching me all the time. I would love to have a viewership that size in the 21 to 40 year old range, which is the kind of audience I like to target. But anyway. Is the Curve 55 a copy or a tribute to the Mega Bass Gafflin? Ooh. There's several baits that have a very similar style, uh, Brittany, to be honest with you. Uh, and I think they're all basically out of the same style mold. You got the, the Mega Bass, uh, the Tekle Drunker, and the Curve 55. They're all kind of in that same... And I don't know the history on all that stuff. Um, so, just being honest with you. Um, you know, just like I tell guys, the Crush 50X and 100X, you know, they're, they're basically um, a cheaper version of the RC 1.5 and 
or 2.5 that, you know, it was hard to get those Lucky Craft square bills for a long time, you know. Um, you can get those blanks about anywhere, but where Six Cents does a great job is the colors, you know. And they're cheaper. Uh-oh, $10, make you holla. Sean Law, appreciate it, bud. Thanks for always putting up great content. Also, what's the best way to get your 110 deeper other than Carolina rigging or going water line? Not sure if suspend strips or bigger hooks would hurt the action. So John Cruz made a good video, Sean. You can change the size hooks on a 110. It will make it slowly sink. Or, if you watch the Hookup Tackles channel, and I kind of knew this, but... Um, they do a really good job of telling the saltwater version of a Vision 110 sinks. And it basically lets you count it down to whatever depth you want. So take a regular 110, add a little bit of suspend strips around the shank of the hook or right on the belly. It will make it sink down. But the saltwater version, they got some awesome colors already sinks. Now there is the 110 plus one that gets down there in that six to eight foot range. And then there's the plus two that gets down there supposedly to 12, 14 foot. But I've thrown, I couldn't hit bottom in 10 foot. And I was thrown on an eight pound line. So That's my suggestion, Sean. Get you a little bit heavier hook. It will sink that Vision uh, 110. But you don't want, like you don't want to go put no um, real heavy gauge hooks. Heavier wire hook or just go up a size and hook. Same style. Like instead of put a G finesse number six, do a G finesse number five or four, it'll pull it down. All right, uh, is the Storm Russia Glide worth close to forty? It's greatly priced at thirty bucks. You can get them on Tackle Warehouse Black Friday and get it less than thirty dollars. It's very good glide for the money. Great starter. So. You're not creepy if you're fifty three. Matter of fact, fifty three is the new thirty one. Uh, Lake Fort guy's all right. I ain't got no issue with Justin. Other than he took a bunch of people's money for brain cancer and bought a bass boat. Well, that's what a lot of people say. I'm not sure I believe that. Rack has been cool to me. All right, we got to move on or I'm never getting through that. I do not think Six Cents is going to get into the spinnerbait game. I don't think they're going to get into the bladed jig game. That is a really competitive market right there. Here's a great example. Dirty Jigs released a spinnerbait about three years ago. And it was freaking awesome. The demand got so high, Kurt basically didn't make it again and said, I can't do my normal business because it takes ten times longer to build a spinnerbait than it does jigs. And I've already got a huge demand for jigs, so I'm not a spinnerbait company. So. Oakdale Bass, and hold on, let me let me let me get your question here. Bait man, I just started watching your videos. Haven't seen any ponds yet, but do you fish them? Yes, I do fish ponds. Um, not all the time. I personally am a lake guy, but um. When I fish ponds, I fish the same stuff I do in the lake. I don't really downsize too much unless I know the fish aren't very big. Uh, I like flukes. I like small square bills, like a 1.5 size, rattle baits, chatterbait, jackhammer, magic in ponds, um, topwaters, and small swim baits. Great in ponds. Great in ponds. And when I say small, like a Kitek 3.3, the Divine 3.2. Um, typically, most of the ponds were around where I live smaller bass real small forge um pretty cool i actually went over the pond that i've never caught a damn fish out of by my house and seen a ton of baby crappie today and i seen four wolf packs of bass about that long so i know there's fish in there uh six cents fluke thank you very much you'll see it that's all i'm saying it may, it may be coming we have got to keep going my wife's chilly i can smell it from here He says, burn this one. That's all it says. This is a Rebel Fast Track Shad. So I'm not going to take this one out of the package. If y'all see, this is very similar to like that, that Bevy Shad style. And this is Rebel. I, I, I remember the Fast Track Shad. 
they have one of the best looking OG shad patterns uh, you can get, man. Love this. This is old packaging. Old packaging. 1984 is when this one came out. Wow. That is OG. Love that. That would be a great fall time riprap bait right there. Alright. Let's see what else we got here. Oh, we got a new subscriber up in here. Oakdale Bass Fishing. Thank you very much, Oakdale, for that sub. You're going to join it, buddy. Three bucks. Dude's funny, dude. Excalibur. Oh, yeah. This is kind of in that same year they did the Bill Dance stuff. This is the Excalibur Shad. This is like a big Shad Wrap number eight. Um... But you know what? This thing throws a lot better than a shad wrap. If you guys can see that. Y'all see that? It says floater. Or at least on my side, it says floater. This is a very buoyant bait. Great, great cold water bait right here. It's kind of got that full like effect. Very simple color. A little shad with the blue back. Got your dot. But the best part about this bait is these treble hooks. I'm not going to lie. I'm probably going to take these treble hooks off and put them on one of my good balsa baits. Oh man, they're so sharp. Um, that's why those old Excalibur lures are still one. People love the hooks on them. they got great patterns. Really like that. High floater are going to be great uh, in cold water. Make that thing slowly back up. What's up, Rick Hauser? Man, i got to come out your way and go tackle hunting. I would love to go to California for a week. It might take me two weeks to go through some of these OG tackle shops and stuff, man. It's probably crazy the amount of stuff I can find in thrift shops and stuff like that. People that just don't know. No problem, Oakdale Bass Fishing. Where did all these baits come from? I missed that. Uh, subscriber. Uh, he's in the chat. He's been talking. His name's Gary. Sent me this huge box of OG stuff. He had emailed me. Uh, I knew it was kind of coming, and dude, I appreciate that. Tristan, I got flukes, man. I got several colors of, of flukes. Matter of fact, I got a video of me catching more on a fluke than Fluke Master. Not not really. He, he whipped me pretty good for a bit, and I caught back up, but I loved on a fluke. So, Have you showed the bait that was on the video screen? Yes, I have. You'll have to go back and watch after the stream. Depth's 250, baby. I will be changing that thumbnail. That's just something I can do quick from my phone. So, Dude, I don't know why they quit making those treble hooks. That is why That is why Pradco Outdoor Brands is Pradco Outdoor Brands. They do some of the dumbest shit I've ever seen from a company. I worked for them for like four or five years. Their paycheck spent good, but they lay off and fire people the best workers everyone that did a really good job at something at pradco they basically let them go and they let all these hooligans uh up above them that really don't know what they're doing try to run the show but anyway reaction innovations uh fluke the shiver glide is nasty a lot of people don't talk about it so i'm feeling good shady banks I'm feeling good i'd like to see this vector hooks man i'm always you know i don't I'm always careful of these off-brand companies trying to make hooks and stuff like that. I've seen them come and go. Sometimes they're really good, but sometimes they're not. I don't know. I'd have to check it out. Best swim bait rod you will use for a hundred bucks, man. Ooh, that's a good question. I would probably go look at the, in the Saint Croix Bass X series. Um, Dobbins Fury is 119. You might as well get a uh, 795. Uh, I love the sticks, power sticks, right? It's really good. I wouldn't throw a depth 250 or nothing like that on it. But what I will say in the swim bait game, you get what you pay for. If you're going to throw three, four hundred dollars swim baits, even 50 to 100 dollars swim baits, don't buy a 99 dollar rod. Buy a 200 dollar rod. There's a big difference. So, man, I don't know why this thing starts getting so bright. Like all of a sudden. I keep getting brighter and brighter. I'm trying to keep... There we go. Keep the color good. So. 
Dude, Milliken swim bait rods, 119. Know a lot of guys that really like that. All right, let's keep moving on here. I can tell you, I don't even know what this is, but it's old. Nice comps, he wrote, not, nice concept, no fish. So, huh. Wow, this is crazy. It is called the Aqua Sonic. Anybody got any experience with the Aqua Sonic? Wow, this is vintage right here. Check out the packaging. It even it says the whole idea. And you can see why. Look at this. There's a hole. There's a hole in the right here on in the crankbait. Can you see that? Can you see that hole? So water, I guess the theory is the water would fly across the bill into the bait and push down, making it dive even deeper. It's got a little butthole back here. So the water comes out. Oh, I forgot to see who won the dirt race. We got in and talking baits. Signs in tomorrow and Let me see if this thing at least uses one of his available provisionals to start the Oh, it ain't even started yet. Gotta get gotta get old wild man Kyle Larson. Dude, this thing is cool. Maybe not caught no fish, but dude, the Aqua Sonic. That's sweet. Now that one, that's the kind of stuff that I probably need to put in a shadow box and put in the house. That's that is that is a collector. I like that. May not even be worth ten cents, but that is really cool. Uh, I don't see these were originally made in Cibolo, Texas, or the company was in based in Texas. Pretty cool. It says a unique flow-through system and all space age lures from uh, Aquasonic generates hydrosonic compression waves underwater just like swimming bait fish. Black bass and other predator fish tune in to the natural sound and turn on. The rest is up to you. Okay. Okay, my man David Gra Gravel over here, he he won. I like David Gravel. I like Shell and Hard Shield. I love dirt racing. I'm a redneck. All right. Dude, when they're run, they used to run in Paducah, and I'm 30 miles from Paducah, and you could hear them. So. If you haven't covered the pool, you may have to throw the crankbait with the butthole to see how it does. I just covered it, like, today. That's crazy. So. Dude, the lure net... I'm not a big fan of the lure net paint shot. It was pretty rough. Like the custom painted ones. Um, I'm not a big fan. Just heard Guggen is making a Whopper Plopper. Well, I, you know what? That's fine. Whopper Plopper's a knockoff anyway. There I said it. It's been around in the musky world forever. There's all kinds of people making plopper baits. River to Sea was just the first to try to market it to the bass. And it worked. Just for grins, what brand travels do you use to replace crap hooks on my crankbaits? Uh, owner. Uh, I'm a big owner fan, and I use Gamakatsu. If I want a round bend hook, I typically use Gamakatsu. If I want an EWG style, uh, I like owner hooks. Uh, the ST35, I think it's YF or MF. That's my favorite. It's the short shank um, owner. really like it. Um, or I use like the ST36 uh, 30, uh, is really good. Uh, and then Gamakatsu round bends. The bronze ones, dude, they're just nasty. <coughs> All right. The OG 2.5. Somebody asked if Rebel made a square bill. Your wish has been answered. The Mini R Noise Maker. Fort Smith, Arkansas. We gotta get this thing out, man. This, this. If I can do it without busting this, oh shit! I don't want to tear this box up. That's what I'm afraid of. Up, oh, up, oh, up! Oh, it's got tape. It's got tape. The OG 2.5 square wheel. Let's see this guy.
I might have just busted the box. Woo! There it is. I don't know why they call it the Mini R because it's not many size. This is a 2.5 old school. The hooks are still pretty sharp. Dude, spring crawl style color. You can catch them on this thing. A lot of rattle in it. Listen to that. Old school. I guess that's why they call it the Noisemaker. There's no doubt in my mind if they'll buy it a six cents RC 1.5, 2.5 Strike King. You could not take this bait in the same area and still catch fish. Absolutely. That's that old. That's very similar to the same designs guys are rocking today, man. I tell you, man. Back in the day, Rebel had it going on. The We Are. This is the Mini R. The Deep We Are. The Humpback Minnow. Man, it's that. That's a cool bait. Um, again. I'm not gonna fish these. These are more a collector bait. I try not to do a lot of collecting, but I love seeing the inspiration of the new stuff in these OG baits, man. Even that color. Who's making a color like this anymore? Is uh, well, Six Sense has got some stuff similar. Strike King's got some color similar. I mean, Rebel still makes this color, but you can even tell the plastic's different, man. Oh, uh, let's see. That's a we are. This thing says Taylor. It just says mini R, mini mini R noise maker. Maybe it is a we are in a different box. I don't know. Very possible. Man, I I haven't seen Klein catching them. I was told he was catching them on a spinner bait, but of course he'll end up catching them on his giant JDM square bill because. That's what I love Rick Clint to death. Don't get me wrong, he's the greatest of all time, but he will absolutely tell you he caught him on uh, a square bill um, when he caught him on like a spinner bait. And that's fine, that's cool. You can't hide that stuff on Bassmaster Live anymore. Thank you, Gary. Uh, it does say mini R on the bill. We're getting into a rebel debate, boy. That's, tell you, that's, that's, in a way, that's kind of true. You know, the way we fish here on our lakes, a lot of times we're fishing for five or six big bites in the fall, throwing top water all day. And if you get them, you'll be like Brent Anderson, win twenty, thirty thousand dollars in one month. So, I don't really like to do the fishing challenges and stuff like that. That's not me. Like I said, I, I don't mind doing a one hour challenge one bait only i think that's what i would like to do so you're yeah, gonna see how bad i suck all right here's one you guys should know this this is pre repel i don't even know if they still make these anymore i don't think they do great color here storm lightning shad we gotta get this one out of the package um this is a good bait and it's a it's a flat side crankbait Whoo! Look at that lightning shad. Look how thin this thing is. And that's made out of the same plastic that a wiggle wart was made out of back in the day. Totally different mold. Let's see if it's got some good sound. Yeah, I was going to say, if I remember right, these really weren't that loud. They're really flat. But it's kind of like a Little John DD. You Just because it's flat doesn't mean that it's super, super tight. Uh, this guy, it's going to have a really fast back and forth. It's almost, and the ass kicks out in it. But man, that, that color is sick though. I like that. These are hard to find. They're discontinued. You cannot find these anymore. And they dive, it says 12 to 16 feet. I'm going to say it's probably good to hit 12 foot. I'm in Minnesota now. There's probably tons of leaves on the water. Yeah, it won't be long. I'll be closing up shop. Really? Well, that's awesome, James. I have, man. I'm telling you, I just don't get to watch all that fishing when you got kids and you work at night. Dude, set a suki cross. Awesome. I do have the Storm Arashi, man. It's it's right up here. 
Um, I shown it on that last show too, my top spinner. So, all right, uh, DT or XD? I like a repel. I I like the DT and the XDs. Um, Never, I don't think I've seen a man's Razorback, so. Whew. Hey, there's nothing wrong with doing a little cussing as long as you ain't doing a lot any GD, and that's how I feel about it. It's alright to say some cuss words. It ain't, I ain't cool with the GD. And I'm saying I ain't never used it. I'm just saying, if I do, I say some Hail Marys afterward. It's not a cool thing, so. Alright. I don't know if I'm going to get done with this box. I'm trying not to stream too long. All right, it says, my favorite flat side, size, and color. Ooh, this, you guys might know what this one is. If you're a Pala guy, and I'm not sure I have one of these. I think I do. Well, I just, I'm probably going to, this is a good fisher right here. The old Rapala Risto Wrap. Check that out. That's an OG. Uh, a lot of guys pay good money for these Risto wraps. Uh, this is Plum Shad. Oh, I see a little bit of purple in there. You know, Bateman be throwing that. This was in good shape, man. Uh, a lot of guys will opt for this Risto wrap above a Shad wrap because they cast a lot better. And they'll dive just a little bit deeper. Uh, you notice the body's a little bit taller, a little bit sh shorter. Risto wrap, really good bait. And it's got an extremely tight wiggle. You notice how narrow this bill is. At one point, the body's actually wider than the bill. It's going to give a really tight action. So, Guggen Squad flat banger? No. You mean six cents crush 75? There may be some questionable stuff, but you cannot deny the flat banger is a KO. Of the flat 75. It's pretty daggum obvious. Dude, Rapala is one of those companies that's been around forever and I don't think they get enough credit. They're really popular up north, with no offense to anybody from up north, and they're really popular overseas. Uh, I love the DTs, I love a Shad Wrap. I'd love to find some more Risto Wraps. Uh, really good baits. They have, probably make some of the better cold water crank baits out there. All right. Oh man, look at here. Here's the old school square bells. Look at all this stuff. Got my man Bill Dance on the front of this. Got my man Bill. Woo! Now that's an Excalibur one, and also. Bill Dance Square Bill. These were actually released. At, this one's got Jimmy Houston. I'm sorry. Bill Dance and Jimmy Houston had a series. Look at that, that translucentness of that bait. But it's got those twist and Excalibur hooks, man. You can actually find these in tackle shops. A lot of. They're going to be hard, but a lot of people carry these baits right here. And you can find them a lot of times in bargain bin outlets. This is the Jimmy Houston one. You don't even say what color. But that, that clear, I love those translucent crawls and that flake, man. That's awesome. Old school square bill. Maybe a little ahead of its time there. Another one. I think this one. Here's another one. It's very similar. It's just blue and white. I got I've got to get into this other box too. So, Dude, I, I love the OG stuff, man. I see some other YouTube channels, and I hate to call anybody out uh, talking about their OG and vintage stuff, and that's fine. Uh, but they're buying it because it's the cheapest thing they find at a yard sale, not because they actually know about it. So, I got. Uh, I like this person, and uh, all I'm saying is they wanted to get into Instagram war with me, and I had to shut it down. I didn't like what. Yeah, you know. And then, long story short, I've got it. They sent me another 
uh, Plano box. A small mini Plano box. Dude, really appreciate this, Gary. Way too much. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Another Bill Dance Fat A. So now I have two. Two. So, all right. A lot of people forget about this one. The Excalibur Bill Dance Fat Free Shad. Man, these are Fat Free Shad. If you guys didn't know, was the inspiration for the Crush 500 and 300 DD uh, from Six Cents. Uh, by the way, you can get the Crush 500 uh, and 300 in Jaint Juice now. I'm excited about that. But Fat Free Shad OG. Now this is uh, I'm trying to figure out which model this one is. This is their mid depth. This one's suspending. Good bait, man. Good bait. Got old Bill D signature on it. I'll tell you what, Prince Cobb, if you can make it through the rest of the stream without asking me for a free bait, I might give you a free bait. Oh, yeah. I've got a box full of this color right here. Dude, this little, I believe this is the Fat Free Guppy. George N., appreciate you subscribing in, brother. Let's see here. This is... I forgot how to tell the difference between the fat free. Oh, no, 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 no. Fat free fry. So there's the shad, the guppy, and then the fry. And I like this one right here. Great bait in that, you know, six to eight foot range. Real light line. Uh, it'll get down there. Doesn't pull hard. These little. One thing about these old fat free shads, the small ones, they do not pull at all. All right, guys. We got a second one. We got another pro autograph. Larry Nixon. This is the 6A, I believe. Oh, I love this color. This is the hard one to get. So I've got, so now I've got both of them. They made two sizes. We've got this one, which I believe is a 5A. And then you've got this one, which is, I believe, a 6A. Two sizes, same color. Now, they're not screw tails, though. Dude, pumped about that. I'm going to throw some hooks on that. Dude, I'll, I'm trying to collect all these, and it's going to be really hard. What else we got in here? A little TR Magic can make this a jank. Oh, speaking of Rick Klun, looky here, baby. I think he, maybe that's TK. They're being called out Tackle Craft. Oh, man. Dude, that is the RC3 uh, Boss of Flat Side. Well, it's actually Cedar from Pose. These came out a little bit after I was born, man. It set the world on fire. This is what Rick Klun designed. Um, it's got that big coffin lip. Really erratic tight action in the water. It's made for deflecting and banging in stumps. These are good baits. And the RC3 is a pretty big body. You know what I mean? Dude, love the old pose. You're right, Robert. There's a guppy, uh, a fingerling. There's a fat-free fry, and then a fat-free shad. I need to brush up. I, I know those names intertwine with how deep they run. So Appreciate it, Adam. Um... Uh, Dude, Bill Dance is the freaking man. You know what? He may fish farm ponds, but the dude is so entertaining. He's a nice guy. He loves the balls, and he really loves the balls because I've talked to him. Like, he ain't wearing a hat just to get noticed. He knows every player on a team. So, it does not yell obscenities when you crank it. However, uh, I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to go there. I'm not going to go there. All right. Someone said fat-free fingerling. Oh yeah. Now is this is now is this not one of the best colors they made right here? Oh, this is the fat-free fingerling. Love it. Got old Bill's signature on it. That's that SH4 style color. It's really possible. 
popular in the balsa uh, world. Who knew Bill Lewis made a flat side? Love the sound. Oh yeah, this is a diving rattle trap. You don't see these very often, man. That's the first crankbait rattle trap made was the diving rattle trap. And this is a floater model, so when you stop it, it backs up just like a crankbait. Now, see, see the camera's doing good right now. I like it when it wants to act like that. A chrome, green, gold. This would be a pretty good fall color, believe it or not, with all that gold in there. Yeah, man, if you live up north around Minnesota, Michigan, all that stuff, get on the Hellabass channel. And Hellabass, are you in Pickwick right now? And you didn't even come stop by on the way? Just say, hey, what's up? You know, I'll stream with you tonight or something. But yeah, man, these float. These are good baits. I remember my dad catching a lot of fish on these uh, diving rattle traps. But you can't... They don't cast very well. Sometimes they land about 40 yards to the right or left of where you want to uh, throw. So that's one thing I'll say about some of the older baits. The action was awesome. But you couldn't cast them near as good as you can on the new stuff. Dude, Perryman, thanks for joining in, man. Dude, hooked me up. Hooked up Junior and Bait Girl, too. So, looky here. Oh, man. Swimming magic. So a lot of people know about uh, the spitting image uh, and the popping image but they forget they made a swimming image which is a real finesse style kind of wake bait get right under the surface almost has a little dog walking dog action these are hard to find because this was not the most popular out of that build ants top water series dude that dude that color if I lived up north, look at that code. Does that not look like a perch? I mean, that would slay. That would slay up north. No doubt about it, man. I like that. All right, let's see what else we got. Got a little note on this guy. All right, 87% run correct, according to Lee Sisson. This is the Bagley Diving Bitty B. I love small crankbaits like this. This is a Bagley uh, Diving Bitty B. I don't know how old this is. It does have a brass line tie in it, though. Uh, but the print on top looks pretty new. Looks pretty new. But I like this guy. Love those little finesse crankbaits, especially this time of year, man. I have not spoke with Casey, uh, Brittany. I'll answer a few questions. I'm about done with this box, though. Um, let me get through this. Uh, I'll let me answer a few real quick. Could you let know something about a big strike daddy I have, too? and wanted your input. Oh, yeah. Big daddy strike, baby. Lucky Craft, one of the best crankbaits uh, square bills ever made man. I love it. I'm a BDS 3 guy. I love the 3 Really love the BDS 3 Awesome Perryman. I'm glad you joined in man. I appreciate you uh, um, The newer ones have a rounder body right right uh, you need a big bag bagley I I would like to get more into bagley's. I just don't know nothing about them, but they could Man, I, on eBay, Rick, I've been seeing them go for like as cheap as 99 cents in there. I'm like, man, them look good. Why would you not want them? But I, the Bagley's, I love the DB3 long casts. I would pay 5 to 10 bucks for them because they catch fish and I like throwing them. So, uh, Yes, that's correct, uh, Adam. Lee Sisson did sell his own brand, Good Baits. Last one, and we're going to move into this other box. Holy cow, we've been streaming a long time. A lot of people don't know this, but they, there was another Larry Nixon Model A in that Pro Autograph series, and it's a small Model A. I think this is, uh, I want to say a 3A or something like that. It's a, a small one. This is the size I love for throwing ponds but it's also a great size for spotted bass 
and fishing early spring and late fall just a finesse style model a crankbait this one is really hard to find i've looked on ebay and I haven't seen it in a long time but dude i love it we'll put it up behind me all right i'm going to answer some questions and then we're going to smash out this other box before my wife kills me i've been out here a long time Dude, that Larry Nixon Model A is freaking nasty. So, appreciate uh, the package. You do not ever have to send me that many baits ever, ever again. Because it takes up a lot of time. And it gets me excited. I'm excited. Awesome, Patrick. Yeah, man. Justin is a cool cat. I love, I love the color on this. So, shirt fits comfortably, everything. I've got to get... I've got to get my merch figured out. So I can't decide if uh, I want to... I've still got all the artwork for the old Jank shirts, the Bait Hub, and I got another design that I haven't let out, and it's it's good. I mean, it's, it's good. So, But I like this style. Uh, guys, I got my hair cut, too, by the way. So shout out to uh, my wife for choppy choppy the top on... Uh, it's probably LV D10 or D7 Everett, but the Big Daddy Strike's awesome, so. All right. I've got about 25 minutes left in me. Let's roll. So, here's the story on this. I bought these baits. Uh, a friend uh, on Instagram, a subscriber reached out to me on Instagram and said, Hey, uh, long story short, uh, a friend of mine passed away unexpectedly. Uh, his wife didn't know what to do with his baits. Had, dude had a huge collection of baits. And uh, I said, you know, uh, let me see what he's got. There's like 15 photos. And I just circled ones. And uh, normally I probably wouldn't, you know, I'm a bait junkie. And there's a whole lot more, but I, I, I wanted to make sure um, his widow got some money. And I thought, you know what? I don't mind spending uh, money for this. It's going to a good deal. And they're cool baits. And I had some that I really liked. Uh, so uh, I appreciate Adam for letting me know about this. But come from California again. And look what we got here. My swim bait guys. I talked to Mr. Velvet. This is uh, the Little E. Don't, you can't find these anymore. They're not made anymore. This is the Little E line through. Love this bait. This is a great swim bait uh, for riding high in the water column. You can fish it just under the surface. You can count it down. This one's in great shape. And it's just a shad pattern color. But you can see that the old hand pour style flat back to it. Uh, these little fins kind of act, you know, as little wings. They're they're uh, hydrodynamic, I believe is the name, and keep that thing nice and balanced. Line through style. Mm. That's a really good one, man. A lot of guys try to find those because they catch fish, man. They catch fish. All right, what we got next? It's in a brown bag. Come from California. You sure it's a bait in a brown bag? Oh. Oh, yeah. Jackal Mikey, man, in Ghost Minnow. Uh, this is an original. So the Mikey went away and it came back. You can find the Mikey Juniors. Wake bait, multi jointed. This one's got some teeth marks on it. Somebody's caught some fish, but get a lot of questions about this bait right here. It's OG in the wake bait game. Uh, one of the first real multi jointed swimmers um, out there that was mass produced. You can see this hook's been out here. Somebody snagged it up or caught some fish on it. But I love the Mikey, man. Great, great bait. We're going we're gonna to put the Mikey up here on the swim bait wall uh, right now. The Mikey up there. So we got wake shads, we got speed wigs, we got the Mikey. Uh, 
Uh, Devlin, I'm not going to disclose the amount, uh, but let's just say uh, there's three digits involved. How about that? Yeah, dude, it's hard to find an OG Mikey. It was like the first thing I saw, so. All right. Speaking of OG, y'all know I love chartreuse in purple. But I did not have this in chartreuse in purple. Speaking of Mr. Klein, a lot of people sleep on this bait. This is the OG RC 1.5 Wake. Look at that. It's got that jointed back half. Great bait. Excellent condition. I like these bright colored wake baits for small mouth, man. Throwing these over long gravel points and stuff. Oh, B. Davis. $10. Make you holla. Thank you for the straight cash, uh, homie. Appreciate the $10 donation. So... Uh, I think Mega Bass does have a chatterbait coming. It'll be interesting. Uh, I seen the Guggen, whatever they call it. That thing looks like a piece of shit. Part of my French, but whatever. I'm sure to catch fish. Uh, but, dude, this is the OG Jank Juice um, from Lucky Craft. If you notice, the back's not silver. It's like a dark black, fades into purple. But man, these RC 1.5s, a lot of people hunt these. These catch a lot of fish. Great bait. I'm a new fisher as well. Can you give me some tips to catch bass? Go fishing as much as you can. Learn one technique and get really, really good at it. I, w I need to do more beginner tip videos and stuff like that. That's just not my deal. Kind of fluke master does that. I'm more into the baits, and if I go fishing, we go fishing. So, all right, y'all know I love the Skeet Mini DRs. Again, finesse square bills, one of the best right here. The Skeet Mini MR. This thing goes down about four foot. If that, if that. Probably actually about three to four foot. Aurora Black. People sleep on chrome square bills, but man, I'm telling you, these things will catch. You can see it's a pretty small bait. They don't make this one anymore. Actually, uh, I've noticed that uh, SKT line of crankbaits have come back out. All right. The guy that owns these baits, I don't know if you can see these. I don't know if you can see this. See where he's marked three to five on the bill? Heck yeah, that's a great tip uh, for guys that if we put them in your tackle box, if you can't remember how far they're going to dive, take your little sharpie right on the bill. It's not going to mess up anything. Good way you grab one and go, oh, that one runs three to five on a fishing four foot. We're good. Mad Burton is hooked and subscribed. Appreciate you, Mr. Burton, for subscribing up in here. Woo! I got, got one, two. I got three of the same bait here. This they don't make these anymore. These are hard to get, man. Dude, thank you, Justin Royal. I knew, I knew you would love this straight up heater T-shirt, buddy. This is. An amazing little wake bait. This is the Gerald Swindle GDS SSR. That's right. No, yeah. The GDS Mini SSR. Super small. This is kind of their version of the man's baby minus one. It has the feather on there. But one thing about this bait. Man, let's help. Dude. It's super loud for the size. You know, a lot of guys drill in their minus ones and stuff to make it, you know, this bait's really good, but I'm surprised it's not more popular than it should be. American Shad, man, that color is nasty. This is one of the OG Lucky Craft colors that everyone was like, oh my God, I gotta have that color. I gotta have that color. Yeah, dude. American Shad, got that one. You know, you got to have that OG chartreuse shad, baby. Just two great fall colors right there. Again, 
Got the feather treble on the back. Oh, man. These are going in the fishing box, though. And then I got another one. Another one of these in Aurora Black, man. So three, as my man Justin Royal would say, three straight heaters in here. Y'all make sure y'all sub to Justin Royal. Great guy, dude. Awesome merch. Uh, if anything, it looks like I got a really cool rock and roll t-shirt. I will, Dustin. Uh, Adam, look up my man Dustin Taylor on Instagram. Um, he'll get you taken care of. Um, if you still got anything left, uh, let me know and I'll get y'all paired up. All right, let's see what else we got. Straight up LV500, a fire tiger one. Got that for that dirty water bite. Love me some LV500s. Oh yeah, you'll lick that bait. Well, Prince Cobb, I said I'd give you a, a bait if you didn't ask. For, well, never mind. Go ahead. Thanks, Prince Cobb. I appreciate it, dude. Who, if you know, you know. Original RC 2.5, and this was a play off the old bomber flat A color. The Mark Davis flat A that was the pearl with the green back. This is Lucky Crash play on it. Dude, I've slayed on this color right here. I broke my last one off uh, about two years ago, and they're hard to find. Dude, this thing right here straight up catches. But, you know, a lot of people want to talk about Strike King 2.5. Lucky Craft, so influential in that market. So now, uh, the Six Cents Crush 100, super similar to this. Uh, of course, you know, you can get six cents for the most part. Them and Lucky, Lucky Craft still makes uh, good stuff, so. You're right, Adam. This was a Bass Pro exclusive color. They didn't just put this in the normal package. You had to buy this at Bass Pro. Uh, but that's basically now a six cents Crush 100. Um, you, just, you can still get the 2.5s. But, man, I'm going to tell you guys right now. I don't mean no disrespect to anybody over at Lucky Craft. But your plastic sucks and your baits are sucking. Guys, I got to read you this really quick. So, got me a little note in here. I always like notes. Kevin, thank you for buying some tackle from my late friend Hector's collection. He'd be honored and thrilled to know that an avid tackle collector saw some value in what he called investments as a personal thank you i've included the wooden sammy from my collection i hope it brings you a smile whenever you look at it p.s i also included some of my hand tied hair jigs put them to work and catch a jank dude i love the note uh that, that's the deal man you know if something happened to me and maybe bait man jr doesn't want to fish i would hope that my wife would reach out to some people and the people that bought my stuff were buying it with love because they enjoyed fishing, they enjoyed collecting, enjoyed the knowledge. So that, that you know, and then I have to share that with you guys because um, it just made me feel really good inside. You know, I'm wanting to help the guy out. Um, and that's kind of how I feel I will want to be treated too. So... Dude, I didn't expect this, and when I seen this in the box, I was like, you got to be kidding me. So this is an original, this is the Wood Sammy. You do not see these very often. Me and Eric were talking about these balsa topwaters, walking baits, man. This, this is one of them that's hard to find. I think you can still get one, but I doubt it's the same. Y'all might not even be able to open it now. I don't like these boxes. Which way does it go? Which way? Does it go? All right, dude. This thing is nasty. Check out this wooden Sammy, dude. Check that out. It's like that ghost minnow, but it's white. I'm not gonna lie. 
I don't want to respect and appreciate the wood Sammy. Um, it's probably going to stay put because it's so hard to find. But I think, uh, I don't know, man. Yeah, Ghost Minnow, which is, you know, and the boss of Ghost Minnow, I think, looks amazing. You know, the normal Ghost Minnow is transparent. But, yeah, that kind of means a lot to me. I like that bait. I cannot believe, uh, Adam, I appreciate you, my friend. Um, I think I'm going to just clean this up. This is going to be one of those baits. Uh, it's kind of a keepsake deal to me. But, yeah, shout out to your buddy, too. Uh, just crazy, man. Now we got to look at your hair jigs, though. If you send me some hair jigs. Yeah, dude, that's a special bait. I'd love to fish one. If I ever come across a second one, I'll definitely fish it. This is the first time I've had one in my hand. Um, dude, look at these guys. Supposedly the crappie are biting here. Look at these little bitty hair jigs, man. This dude makes these things. Look at... Smallmouth killer right here up north. These little black hair jigs. Oh, got a sharp little hook because I stuck myself. Dude, I like those. Got another one just a little bit heavier. It's like a, it's like a black and a brown with some gray. So it's kind of like my wife's hair when she don't get it colored all the time. Dude, there's a little black hair jig. Seth Fighter is a huge fan of these guys up north. Man, I love that. One thing I'll say, and I could be wrong. I don't see a lot of feather. I think there just might be like one piece of feather in there. But the rest of it's hair, man. That's that's the real deal. Super sharp hooks. Little hooks, super sharp. I need to get into that hair jig fishing big time. Alright. We're almost done, boys and girls. And we're going to end this with my favorite. One of my favorite crankbaits and when I see these I said man I gotta have them. I'm gonna spend some money. These are the last three left baby. Y'all know me. DT Flat 7. Uh, this is the this is the full shad color. So they made a shad and then they made a foil version. This is the foil one man. This is this is one that's hard, kind of hard to come by. Really like that, man. Love the DT Flat 7. Awesome bait. And uh, I don't think this one can It might have come in sure set, and he'd already done me a favor. He took them junky travels off and put some good ones on here, man. Love the Flat 7 DT. I'm glad that new Ott's Garage is coming, but I think it's only going to be a three-foot diver. Love that right there in the DT Flat. I've got a huge collection going. No sure set hooks. Those are not rappel hooks on that bait. This one, and then another DT Flat 7. Oh, yeah. Tropical Shad, Chartreuse, Blueback. I've got several of this color. Dirty Water, Springtime. Got to have that. This one's been fished. It's got, it's got some good teeth marks on it, too. If you can find these DT Flat 7s, buy them up. Dude, the blue back color is fire. I bet you should have this at Pickwick, hella bass. That's why you should have stopped by my house. I probably would have gave you one out of my box and kept this one. Dude's changed out the hooks, man. Knew what he was doing. When they change out the hooks, they like the bait. That's how it is. And then last one for the night. A hot mustard... DT flat seven one of the hardest harder colors to get It's weird man. It's a hard color to get but I never see people spending much money on them I don't know what it is. Maybe they just don't like the color But dude hot mustard Lake Barkley Kentucky Lake springtime Got you some jinx basically similar to the old Homer color If y'all see that real good but Man, that's what makes these baits so good. But just they're 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 narrow. They got that coffin bill. They got a real tight action, and they they come through cover really really well. But whoo, we've done some talking tonight, boys. Done some talking. Uh, so shout out to Adam, the Wood Sammy deal. 
thanks man i really appreciate it did not have to do that and uh, i hope that money uh, went to your buddy's uh widow and helped her out um everybody needs a little love sometimes that's ha that's my motto whether you're buying some t-shirts to support your buddy justin royal i'm gonna do that you can buy some baits from somebody that needs some help do that or you know what i like random acts of kindness and that could be anything is just making a kid's day you know when you're down there fishing at the pond go fish next to the kid and give him a couple of baits out of your your box or whatnot that's the kind of stuff i like so i've been on here almost two hours uh probably gonna do some spinner baiting tomorrow night i don't know i feel like that's a good idea and uh we're gonna do get that giveaway going so make sure you guys tune in live tomorrow night uh for the giveaway um i don't know maybe we'll see if we can get a special guest i'm not sure so um but we're gonna talk about some spinner baits my favorites i don't have my favorite trailer here i looked the other day but who knows maybe we'll even put on um we'll, we'll do some We'll do some fall jerking or something like that. So anyway, guys, thank you so much. Uh, big favor for me. All I ask is tomorrow when the video comes up, y'all leave a comment. If you have any questions, I love answering the comments after the video. Uh, make sure you smash the like button uh, for me. Uh, and go Big Orange. It'll be late before I stream because I am going to watch Tennessee play Arkansas. And hopefully uh, the ghost of Clint Sterner will show up and we can win a game. So. Okay, uh, how can you tell if it's OG RC 1.5 or 2.5 no box? All right, uh, RC 1.5s that have RC on their back. I'll show you that tomorrow night, okay? I have to go. Thank you, guys. I'm going to go eat some chili.